Every year, millions of tons of bell peppers are produced around the globe, making them one of the most popular and versatile vegetables in the world. These colorful fruits, from green to red, yellow and orange, add flavor and nutrition to countless dishes. But before they reach our kitchens, bell peppers go through an incredible journey of cultivation, harvesting and preparation for market. If you love discovering how your food is really grown, stay with Smart Farm Insights. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more documentaries. The journey begins with careful soil preparation. Farmers select loose, well-drained soils enriched with organic matter to support healthy root systems. Seeds are first planted in protected nurseries, where young seedlings are nurtured for several weeks before being transplanted to open fields or greenhouses. In commercial production, drip irrigation systems deliver precise amounts of water and fertilizer directly to the plant's roots, ensuring steady growth while conserving resources. Modern growers also use integrated pest management, combining biological controls and selective treatments to protect the crop without over-relying on chemicals. Bell peppers thrive in warm climates, and under good conditions, the plants begin to flower within a couple of months. Pollination is vital, and once flowers are set, the fruits rapidly develop. Farmers closely monitor their peppers for color changes and firmness to decide the perfect harvest time. Harvesting is one of the most critical stages. On the world's largest farms, mechanical harvesters are increasingly used. These machines lift plants carefully, separating peppers from the soil with conveyors and air systems that minimize damage. This speeds up the harvest enormously, reducing labor costs and helping farmers gather peppers at peak freshness. Yet in many regions, handpicking remains common especially when peppers need to be harvested selectively to meet strict quality standards. Farmers often harvest in the cool hours of the morning or late afternoon, when the peppers are firmest and freshest. Once harvested, peppers are quickly collected into crates and moved to nearby collection points. Farmers sometimes spread them in shaded open areas near the field to allow surface drying, reducing field heat before transport. The processing step varies depending on the final destination. In general, fresh market peppers are sorted, cleaned, and packed directly into cartons for refrigerated transport. Peppers destined for factories may be washed, grated, and lightly processed, such as roasting, chopping, or blending into sauces. Others are preserved through canning, freezing, or drying to extend shelf life and reach distant markets. While the processing stage is often simple, it ensures peppers remain safe, fresh, and appealing when they arrive on supermarket shelves around the world. From seed to harvest and from farms to factories, bell peppers represent the hard work of farmers, the innovation of modern agriculture, and the global demand for healthy, colorful foods. They are not only a vital crop for farmers' livelihoods, but also a nutritious addition to our diets, 
rich in vitamins A and C. So now you know the story of how millions of bell peppers are grown and harvested across the world. Which pepper color is your favorite to cook with? Leave a comment below and share your thoughts. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Smart Farm Insights, and turn on notifications for more documentaries about the journey of food from farm to table. Every year, millions of tons of green chilies are produced around the world, feeding not only local markets, but also a massive international demand. From spicy curries in Asia to flavorful sauces in Latin America, this fiery ingredient has become a global favorite. But behind every chili pepper lies an extraordinary story. One that begins in the soil and ends on our dining tables. The journey starts with careful soil preparation. Farmers plow the land and enrich it with organic matter or fertilizers to ensure maximum fertility. Since chili plants thrive in warm climates, they are usually cultivated in regions where temperatures range between 20 and 30 degrees Celsius. Seeds are planted in nurseries or seed beds, where young seedlings grow for four to six weeks before being transplanted into the fields. To save time and ensure even planting, many modern farms use machines that quickly transfer seedlings into the soil. During this period, drip irrigation systems are used to deliver water directly to the roots. This method saves water, prevents flooding of the soil, and helps maintain consistent growth. Fertilizers rich in nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium are applied to support flowering and fruiting. while targeted spraying protects the plants against pests and diseases. After 40 to 60 days, the plants begin to flower. Pollination takes place, and within two weeks, tiny fruits emerge. Over the next 20 to 30 days, these fruits grow and reach the harvest stage. For chilies intended for processing, farmers allow the fruits to ripen fully and turn a deep red color. This stage ensures the peppers are rich in flavor, heat, and suitable for long-term preservation. Harvesting is usually done by hand to prevent damaging the plants, but in large commercial farms, semi-automatic machines help reduce labor costs and improve efficiency. Some farmers also use color indicators placed near the plants. These markers guide workers to harvest only the fruits that match the precise ripeness stage, guaranteeing uniform quality across the entire crop. Once harvested, the red chilies are not immediately sent to factories. Instead, they are spread out in open areas near the fields to dry naturally under the sun. This drying stage reduces moisture content, intensifies flavor, and prevents spoilage during storage. In many producing regions, the sight of endless carpets of red chilies drying in the open air is both striking and essential to the quality of the final product. Only after this step are the chilies packed and transported to processing plants.
At the factory, the journey continues with sorting and cleaning. Damaged or low-quality chilies are removed, while the best ones are thoroughly washed to eliminate dust, soil, and pesticide residues. Clean chilies are then naturally dried again or briefly fried to enhance crispness and make peeling easier. Skilled workers meticulously remove the thin skins and seeds, ensuring uniform quality before moving forward. The peeled chilies are blended with carefully measured seasonings, including salt, vinegar, and spices, to create a distinctive balance of flavor that enhances the natural taste of the chili itself. The seasoned chilies are then cooked under controlled conditions to improve shelf life and flavor stability. Once the perfect taste and texture are achieved, the product undergoes a strict canning and packaging process. Sterilized jars, cans, or sachets are filled with the chili products, sealed and labeled. Every batch is tested for quality before being shipped to markets around the world. Thanks to this meticulous process, green chilies transform from a simple crop into an international product used in stir-fries, stews, sauces, and side dishes across countless cuisines. Beyond their incredible flavor, green chilies also offer significant health benefits. They contain capsaicin, a natural compound that boosts metabolism, reduces inflammation, and even provides pain relief. They are also rich in vitamins A and C, which strengthen the immune system and promote healthy skin. This makes chilies not only a staple of global kitchens, but also a powerful ally for human health. From tiny seeds planted in fertile soil, to fiery red fruits drying under the sun, to carefully processed products on supermarket shelves, the journey of the chili pepper is a testament to the dedication of farmers and the innovation of modern agriculture. This remarkable plant has conquered global cuisine and become one of the most beloved crops in the world. So, what do you think about this incredible journey of chilies? Which dish do you love most with chili peppers? Let us know in the comments below.